Welcome back everyone. Well, we're off on our camping trip. We're here at the put-in. Let's take a look at our gear. So got a few sleds here, all packed up for a lovely long weekend. Yeah, we got some snow, so we'll be able to bring these guys in. That's awesome. Well, here we are at the dam. Open water, obviously. Beautiful day, look at that. Oh, it's gorgeous. Minus four right now. It's gonna go across the bridge. Kind of like it was last year with the open water. Just went up a big hill there. Excuse the being out of breath. It's gorgeous out here today. Overdressed actually. Oh, it's going down to minus 16 tonight, so gotta be prepared. A quarter of the way there. We're almost there. And there's some running water. So it's actually really warm. A little creek going into the lake. That's our lake. We're almost there. Some people head out ice fishing. They're pretty brave and they're checking every uh, step of the way with a test stick there. It's a beautiful sight. We've got a nice view of the lake here. Extremely windy though today. So hopefully you can hear me. Fortunately, unfortunately we've got some neighbors down there and they're pretty loud. So uh, it's too bad, but uh, <laughs> Uh, they cluster the campsites here. You kind of can't go anywhere you want, which is too bad. The park is vast, but uh, you kind of have to go on these sites here. They're just getting the site ready here. Had to do some shoveling. Just unloading the gear. There's the bush toilet down there. And there's a lockbox for the food. Well, the tent's up. It's really windy, so again, a difficult uh, placement, but it went well. Got the wood stove installed. So uh, yeah, this should be really good. It's nice we kind of look down on this area the tent opens up into the forest so maybe we'll see some animals or something it's hard to say last time it was a bit quieter here but one can hope race is on the on guard dog mode so uh i'll show you here i installed a zipper um before i left so this will be great with all the wind so it used to be just the buckles and now Zipper goes all the way down to the bottom. Okay, I'll do that right now, but and I installed more snaps, like I said I would, um, just to support this a little bit more. There's a lot of weight on the front of this tent, so I think that uh, makes it much more secure. Royce is watching over me. I'm uh, just down here on the lake, extremely windy, but really beautiful. I'm so glad we had the snow to come in today. Um, it wouldn't have been possible without it. It's too rocky, too steep. Um, yeah, you'd have to figure it a different way backpacking <laughs> but then the camp swallow tent might be a little bit heavy but what a gorgeous day there's a few little clouds this is what it's all about that sun's got a little bit of warmth to it so it's pretty nice so just checking on the weather um, it looks like we're gonna have some snow starting at 1 in the morning so we want to make sure we get everything that we uh, we have out kind of tarped up and stuff like that um, I don't know, maybe we'll get seven centimeters or something. It'll be kind of fun, actually. Um, got lots of wood to burn, so it's gonna be nice. Even if it's a camp day tomorrow, maybe we'll go for a little hike, I don't know. So uh, I've got an hour to sunset. Got the perfect view behind me for that. And uh, yeah, it is, that wind is biting. It feels way colder than, right now it's minus six, but it's probably like minus 10 with the wind chill and stuff. I've got a couple of XL Mr. Heaters. I picked up a pack there uh, before I left at uh, Cabela's. So that's pretty awesome. Uh, and like the XL ones are nice big patches. You can put them on your body, your legs, arms, just stay warm in your feet. Um, it, usually at nighttime, I put one in the small of my back. It's really nice. <laughs> it's like a heating pad. So uh, yeah, lots of good stuff at that store. Another thing I uh, picked up from Cabela is I decided against the uh, solar lamp. I mean, I know there's a bit of sun today, but it's really not going to be enough to charge it. So I got this Night Ease uh, lantern got these nice this nice lantern here it's got different uh different modes obviously that lasts well, the lowest mode is 96 hours so that's pretty cool and it also has like an amber mode for nights so you don't like totally blind yourself so this is pretty cool i'm gonna clip it on up here and uh yeah got that at bass pro shops cabela's it is usb chargeable and it also has a little port so that if you want to use the battery uh, then you can just plug into it so just doing a little bit of a walk before sunset here, just up on the ridge. The park is full of nice winter trails that go all over for hours and hours. Um, just beautiful. A little bit out of the wind, but look at that. You 
little chickadees above me. No tracks in the woods right now other than human tracks and dog tracks. But snow just fell probably a day or so ago, so it's nice and fresh. There's a beautiful little ridge and a view for you guys. The sun setting. Nope. Sunset behind me and my crew. Yeah, I don't think that's been set. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, let's wait. <laughs> just heard uh, some trumpeter swans in the distance. Don't think they're flying this way, but uh, pretty soon the migratory birds will be coming back. I think we found our fisher friend. Something has been taking giant leaps. I don't know what it is. Like literally leaping through the woods all the way up and all the way down there. Well, I guess we'll find out what that, that was. Something was running pretty quickly. Organization. <laughs> so I'm just cooking some eggs because uh, they kind of froze. So we're going to cook these up and uh, save them for breakfast tomorrow and then we make some chili for dinner. A wool sweater. And now we've got the chili. Uh, rehydrating. It's got a little bit of egg in there, but that doesn't matter. Ooh, it's nice and warm in here. Stove, she's getting warm. Take my hat off in here. Dog sitting behind me. Got three cots all lined up with gear. It's a tight squeeze, but uh, we'll see how it goes. There's supper. It is uh, the chili. Added some rice and hardtack and a chunk of cheese. Let's give it a try. Pretty good. Definitely a welcome meal on a cold night. Beautiful moon, lots of stars out tonight. I've had to bury the food right there um, just so that it doesn't freeze. So, just down by the water there. A lot of wildlife for quiet for the night. There's no bears around here, so um, anyway, it's just buried there so that it doesn't freeze overnight. You never see Royce back there in all that gear. He's actually right in the corner there. His little jacket's on to keep him warm and he's all curled up in a wool blanket. So it's pretty cozy in here, but uh, it's gonna work. You expect the snow will start around 2 a.m. and continue all day tomorrow. So uh, I just tightened up some of the uh, the lines holding the tent, so it's actually like on a really good angle, so that the um, snow doesn't uh, build up too high. Well, I'll snuggle in here for the night. We'll see you guys in the morning. It is like really snowy out this morning. Got a fair bit last night. Oof. I woke up at one point last night extremely cold. So uh, I got warmed up, everybody got me warmed up, and then uh, Royce got really cold. Four in the morning, woke up to him just shaking in the bed. He got himself at the back of the tent, as always. <laughs> and uh, so basically I had to wrap him up in more blankets, couldn't get him warm, and then I had to start the fire. So fire's been going since four in the morning. So the tent's really nice and toasty. Uh, I also fed him a nice hot meal. I got some water boiled and uh, gave him a nice hot meal. So that helps a lot for the calories to warm them from the inside out. So I got the rest of the breakfast outside and I'm going to have a nice muffin with some Nutella in it now and some eggs that I cooked last night. Um, the wind is just absolutely howling out there and it's bitterly, bitterly cold. Um, so the food is now, well the food last night was buried in the snow and so everything was basically thawed out, so that was fine. I had a little bit of an issue with the water freezing overnight. Um, it's thawed out now, um, but uh, I'm going to have to bury that. I didn't last night, I thought oh, it would be just warm enough in here, but it wasn't because the water was stored in the corners of the tent. So, word of the wise, put your water bottles in your bed, 
or uh, bury them in the snow. So that's what I'm going to do later on today, decant some uh, from our main source of water into little bottles and we'll bury them. And I'm making some scrambled eggs. Hearty breakfast this morning on this cold day. Working on some more wood here to stay warm. Got a couple of boxes going. A little bit more in that bag. Of course there's some deadfall we could use, but uh, it's really windy out today. It's gonna be kind of like this all day. 25 km an hour gusts. Thankfully it's going up to zero degrees because of all this storm front that came in. So uh, yeah. Go out for a little bit of a walk. We found some fisher tracks, which is really cool. Um, it's active really in the night, up and down. I think they live up in that little ridge uh, behind me right there. And there was like a bee lining it back and forth. Maybe down to the water or something like that. So, and oh yeah, trumpeter swans this morning. So uh, Royce jumped up, heard like wonka, wonka, wonka going over the tent. So that's really cool. As you can see, wildlife went right by the tent. And that's why Royce got up at four, like big lolloping jumps right here. And they continue over here. Boom, boom, boom. And then up this tree. Would have been a fisher for sure. Like it just stops like right there. Nothing. So it just went up the tree and then scrambled around. So maybe that's why he got up at four. I just want to show you the sights here. Uh, this is uh, 11B. Um, we thought this is supposed to be fully booked this weekend, but uh, they uh, didn't come. So beautiful looking out on the lake. Very windswept. Don't think I picked this one in the winter. Um, but you get your platform, you get your you know, your picnic table, your fire pit, and then you get a bear box, so beautiful. This is the stuff you gotta watch out for right here. Oh, stay there. You can see there's open water. There's a little creek kind of running, a little runoff from the woods there. And all that ice is not steady there at all, so it's open. And all along that shoreline right there. So, I'm supposed to show you. I feel a bit nervous about uh, going out in the ice today. I know people did it yesterday, walking out, testing the ice and stuff, but with all this new snow, I can't really see the integrity of the ice below, and I just didn't bring my stuff. Too much weight, too much gear. So, I'm just happy to poke around and explore. All right, so we've uh, gone into this cache right here. Got a little bit more wood. I don't know if we use it all, but it's good to just have wood nearby, and then obviously any wood we have left over, we'll just leave the next yeah. folks. Well, smokeless fire. That uh, Danchel uh, outdoors stove I've had for years now, I love it. Um, it's heavy, but uh, it works well. I'm not worried about it breaking down, and uh, it really burns extremely hot. The only thing I do have a concern with it, I would love to have a damper, you know, in the flue. That would be really good so that it's not just chewing through the wood so fast, but it does produce a very hot fire. I was outside all morning, just hanging out, going for walks and stuff, but nothing exciting that we saw. Just uh, blizzard-like conditions out on the lake. It's warming up with some hot tea. Oh, it's really nice. Um, hopefully this wind dies down. Uh, looks like our neighbors, um, the tent, well they had like a hot tent and they also had like four uh, hammocks. Um, so they just packed up and left. So they just spent the night I think. And um, like I said earlier, the um, campsite uh, A and B next to us completely empty. So I don't know, like when I looked online it was completely booked all weekend. But I think people just spent a night and had enough of the high winds and the storm coming in and stuff. So they left. Um, so yeah, it's just us, so that'll be pretty cool. Maybe the wildlife will come a bit closer. It looks like the fisher came close to the tent last night again, and the, you know, hawk was nearby, and the trumpeter swan, so getting to a good start, um, for this camping season. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. It'll be a lot quieter, uh, here on out. So I think we'll be the only ones here for the rest of the weekend. We're on a long weekend here, so that'll be great. Yeah, so I mean, yeah, winter camping's tough. You know, sometimes one night is all it takes, and you're just like, yeah, it's a good experience. <laughs> I'm done with that, but, uh. Yeah, it's a, it's a lot of work. Um, you know, when you're camping, you have to have a lot more wood than you think you need uh, to keep warm. Like I'm just sort of trickle feeding the stove right now to kind of conserve, um, you know, just to kind of keep it going, but not completely use all of our wood up. Um, there's lots of deadfall around here and stuff too. Um, so if we had an emergency situation, we can tackle that, but usually you're not supposed to do that around here. So we just have pre-cut wood and stuff like that and stuff that people had from a previous 
camping adventure, they had extra, so they just left some. So we just have a little bit of that in reserve. And if we don't use it, they'll go on to the next person. So lots of work, you know, reorganizing the tent. Um, it's super cramped, you know, for three people and a dog. So we had to move one of the cots out for today. And uh, just so we have a little bit more room to kind of move around and, um, you know, kind of sit out and chat and stuff like that. Because that wind is pretty strong to be outside the whole time. The wind chill's pretty high and you don't want to get hypothermic or anything like that. I was really, really cold in the night and, you know, wasn't super happy about it. Um, but I'm much better now. And last night with all the snow, roof got a little bit wet, just a tiny little bit of drips coming in, but then as soon as uh, we got the snow off the roof, it stopped. So it's just very heavy wet snow and the warmth inside the tent was melting it. So I did waterproof this, but I should probably do a little bit more. But overall, I mean, it still keeps snowing. It's been snowing since like 2 a.m. and now it's like 11 and it's not dripping anymore. So hopefully the stove will dry this out a little bit. Making some tuna melts for lunch. So got some cheese and tuna. Can't wait, the wind's howling, the tent's leaking a little bit. So it'd be nice to get some nice warm food. So a little close up of the meal, looks really good, nice and hot. Mm, greasy and delicious calories. So I made a really nice uh, bagel here, chocolate bagel, and we toasted it. So good. Mm, mm, so good. Jackpot. In need of a little bit more wood this afternoon. I mean, got a fair bit, but it's be good for tonight because it is just way nastier than I thought it was going to be today out here. We spent the afternoon basically in the tent because of how nasty. The wind is super high. It's cold. Um, very like I think it's a west uh, west northwest wind about 25 probably gusting to 40 kilometers an hour so this is welcome we've been really having to stoke the fire quite a lot every half hour so just gonna fill up the bin a little bit more just makes us you don't have to worry you don't have to think about it just have some wood stay warm well there's some people out fishing there on the ice, so I guess it must be pretty good out that way. See that little hut through the trees. I wouldn't want to be out in that wind out there, but usually it's pretty nice in the hut once you have your little buddy heater going. If we're walking around camp, I have my mukluks that I made. So they're pretty awesome, pretty warm. They're not constricting, so your feet aren't like frozen solid like a brick. I really don't get that wet. I do have over boots for when it gets um, a little damper and cooler than it is now. Um, and you can put as many layers of, mock, of sorry, of uh, wool socks in there to keep your feet warm. So highly recommend mukluks. And they're really nice for inside uh, the tent too. This year, as you guys know, I, uh, I made a duffel liner for them, like really nice wool. So it keeps your calves nice and warm too. So that really helps in keeping you warm. Well, unfortunately, one of our parties uh, got a bit of a burn from the uh, the wood stove. Uh, we're kind of monitoring the situation, and if that person doesn't feel good, then uh, we can pack right out. I got nightmares in my head. I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature, and it haunts me somewhere much deeper. Anxiety.